All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Jarvan. In the mid lane, we're running Harvest, Sun Impact, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cut the Grass. We're going full lethality Jarvan. We are deleting people. This is a very strong pick. Strong early, super strong mid. Probably falls off late because we'll be squishy, but if we make it to late, that'll be a surprise because we we'll probably lose anyway if we make it to late. Let's see, what mythic do I have? They didn't nerf Duskblade yet, did they? I think they did. Actually, it looks like it's only missing the haste, the ghost blade. But, since I'm going to be squishy, the Dusk Blade might be nice, too. Extra 20% damage when they're low. I'm hoping Presence of Mind is enough mana. If I just kill somebody, I have enough mana to kill another. So you can poke with Q and farm at the same time. Dristana's also super aggressive, strong early champ. But I think we're stronger. If he flashes, I flash. Um, he only has Q and W. Just get the harvest stack there. He did a lot of damage to Triss, though. Let's see, I don't have flash no more, but neither does Pantheon. So as long as I don't use EQ right now, he can't kill me. I'll get my shield too. I'm pretty healthy compared to Trist. I just can't EQ her close to turret. But I can Q her. The flag is longer cooldown than the Q by two seconds. Let's see. I'm going to predict Pantheon is coming from bot side when he ganks again. Because I think he had blue buff. I don't know. Or no, did he steal Vi? He stole Vi's red. So he can still come from topside again because he can clear his blue. I mean, I might just be able to kill her, to be honest. I missed an auto. I autoed a minion. I didn't want to flash auto her, though, and then have her not die to the next auto. That's okay, though. Because next time we go in, she's dead. I got her flash. And we'll even, we'll leave the wave pushing in towards me. Oh, she has TP. And we're fine. I'll get boots then. Waiting 10 gold for another sword. And look at this big juicy wave. A cannon should soak up. So I'll only miss like one or two. Okay. Once we're six, we can almost get uh, guaranteed kills because our ult just had so much damage. Who dares defy my will? This skin actually has some pretty cool sounding auto attacks. I mean, if I go in now, I won't kill her. She'll get away with one health. But maybe if I could poke her a little bit more. Yeah, if I go in now, she dies. But I have to hit EQ knockup. Alright, she did. Oh, she could still jump through the knockup. She buffered it. I'm gonna walk straight at her, try and Q her, force her off the wave. Even though we're not killing her, she's getting behind. Because now I'm gonna hit six way before her also I have like double her CS the skin has a very satisfying auto alright I think it's a passive little tip when you're hitting towers Jarvan put flag behind you you get attack speed and then you can Q to it if you need to I don't have that much mana I 
I gotta just clear and go. I'm kind of scared though. I'll just take what I can get and leave. If Pantheon ganks me and I don't have mana, I'm dead. Okay, we have some lethality. I think I will try Dusk Blade. I don't know, man. Lethality, I mean, the Ghost Blade is really good too. Oh no, they did nerf the Ghost Blade, I think. I'm gonna go Dusk. Is it. It only goes up to 12 extra lethality. Thought it gave more. Alright. We'll get her. Sooner or later. I have ult now. She does also, though, so she might just push me away. Just hit her with some Qs to poke. The nice thing is, we, we go lethality, and then our Q also shreds their armor, so we just do so much damage. Pantheon has to be somewhere over here. I'm gonna try and zone her off cannon. Oh, I missed. He's bot. Pretend to dive her. Make her a little nervous. Just queuing her down. I think I could kill her at this health. If I hit that, unfortunately. We have lots of chances, though. I don't think I need ult if I hit this next knockup. Yep, she should die there. Nice, and I saved my ult. So now we can go try and roam. Fire Dragon would be very good for me too. Well, I can stop Pantheon from getting over there. Kinda scared he's gonna flash over the wall and steal it. Oh boy. Um, if I jump on Pantheon here, Tristana's gonna be back. I wanna go for Samira, but they have double heal. They have double heal and a Yumi, so like... I don't know if I could do anything there. How about Aatrox? Oh yeah, how about Aatrox? He does. There's nowhere for me to be. I may as well just stay for the the Dusk Blade. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. I can all in her at full HP, it's just I have a very low chance of killing her because she has a lot of stuff to get away. Fine. I can't kill him. I need Q. That's fine though, that's a good trade. I think I can get another plating too. And we have an item. Prowler's Claw wouldn't be too bad on this build too. I wouldn't get it early though. Should probably get armor boots, they're all AD. As much as I wanna go Cooldown boots? Like they're they're 5 AD, 4 AD. I gotta survive. Cause once I start dying, it's over. Righteous retribution. Oh, got it. 
I should get this guy. Oh my god, my damage is insane. 500. That's a big payday. My cannon, go beer. I got it. Juicy. Oh. They buffed Jarvan too a while ago. <laughs> Might as well hit her. I could kill her at that health. He knows something's up. Falling's under turret. The only is beating Aatrox. That Q hurts. Sleep not thanks for the prime. I wanted to eat cure, but I also wanted a cannon. Just in case she uh, jumped away, I ignite or ulted me. I mean, my ult's actually pretty low cooldown. I was thinking about building an Axiom Arc. I might still build an Axiom Arc, because it's not bad. But imagine if I get a Collector right now and I crit when I auto. I mean, Axiom Arc. I'll build the Axiom Arc just because I want to go on a Rampage with my ult. Plus, Axiom Arc gives really good stats. 18 lethality, 25 haste. An ally has been slain. They already have an objective bounty. They're only down three kills. But I have one, two, three farm. Today is a good day to die. <laughs> Died so fast. That's an Aatrox with armor boots, too. No EQ auto on Trista's half of her health. My right, ult's back up in 30. I need to get Balling. I need uh, my two ultimate hunter stacks, but my ult's not going to be up in time. Oh, they're, they're going in. Here comes Jarvan. I'm just going to wait for my ult, I guess. Watch. Oh my god, my Q almost killed her. Yeah, I just needed the ult. They're not going nowhere. So powerful. Shut down. Who dares defy my will? I mean, I guess I'll do this. Got nothing else to do. If they FF, it's whatever. I actually enjoy playing this. Once we get going, we get going. What did I want? Collector? I'll try the Prowlers. We 
shall rest when we are dead. I have armor boots, so. Watch this. <laughs> Stand with me, I love Jarvan. I wonder if I can kill her. Ah, oh, my Q didn't hit. I kind of want a diver, but... Probably shouldn't give the person with the collector. It might flash for me. I got exhausted. Oh my fucking god! Damn, I actually got him. The Dusk Blade. <laughs> How much does this add? 181? That's fine. I can't believe I survived that long. Well, the presence of mind is indeed enough mana, so I don't need to build this. This item is really good for getting a lot of damage too, but it's probably a lethality item is just better because you have to spike earlier. I think I have to do grudge. I don't know. Sorry I opened with alt so I could EQ out. If I EQ alt in, I'm not getting out alive. Essence Reaver would be pretty good. It wouldn't, well, it wouldn't give me lethality, but the Sheen plus the Prowlers is going to make my auto attack with my passive do so much damage. But it might just be better to go lethality because I might kill them before I can even auto. My alt does 700. Oh, that still knocked her up. <laughs> I'm surprised that that all did damage her. She wasn't in the circle. Uh oh. I was gonna say if he kills one of them. He's gonna reset. Ooh, a tower. Why is this so low? Oh, they're aced. 
Get me out. Yes, hold the Pantheon hostage. Come to me. Ooh, a Tristano with no jump? Didn't want to alter, I should have. I can kill him. I mean, not with the Aatrox behind him. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Jarvan in the mid lane. We're running Harvest, Sun Impact, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Presence Mind, and Cut the Grass. We're gonna go Lethality Jarvan. He's super oppressive as an assassin. One of the strongest mid laners early. Uh, am I against an eco? Is she a minion? There's only six. I don't know where their team is. Are they late invading? Oh yeah, we're going to do Duskblade. Duskblade into Axie Mark. I'll just be able to kill people and then alt again. But Jarvan just does so much damage. He's so fun to play lethality. Where is... That is not a cane, is it? Oh, it is a cane. So it's a cane mid. Alistar top. Oh, probably Nico support. That's what I didn't get. I see. Okay, so yeah. Garvin's power spike hits at level 2. I mean, if he walks up to auto this, which he did, and I still hit him. We EQ, and then just keep auto attacking because we have attack speed. Look at that. He's almost dead. In a level 6, we can, like, automatically kill somebody. You can just keep poking with Q. I'm relying on a... Wait, what the hell? Why do I have Mana Flow Transcendence? Hmm. Oh, well. I thought I took Presence of Mind. I did the other games. That's fine. It's the same thing as Cut the Grass. At least I have all the other runes, right? Anyway. I was relying on Presence of Mind before on reset kills, but... Mana Flow works basically the same. It's going to give me enough mana. I just won't have the cut the grass execute damage, but I already have the dusk blade execute damage. I mean, if they're low health, they're gonna die. They're gonna die quick anyway. Oh, I didn't hit him. Jungle Yi. I mean, he shouldn't gank early. If he does, I have EQ to get away. Ah, uh, Kane has a tier. That's why I did so much damage to him. Also. I need to get a kill, though. I go for him when he goes for a minion. Nice. I was waiting to flash, but then I realized he doesn't have flash. He's got ghost. Okay. We got a kill. We're ready to roll. Well, since I'm going mana flow, maybe I will grab a tier. I don't have enough for it here. I'm going to run out of mana in longer fights. If I go mana immune, it will give me a lot of damage. It's just... Then I don't get a lethality item second, which is what I kind of want. Maybe I get the tier, and I just don't upgrade it till later. Because mana immune with... Mana flow is going to give like 80 AD, which is a lot. Stand with you, brothers and sisters. I can just hold the wave when he walks up to come see us. We just all in him. Ooh, that was close. Um, Master E has Ghost. I have all. I might be able to kill Yi if he ganks me. I could maybe bait it. There he is at blue. 
now and forever. Let's go get some more kills. He's level four. I was gonna use both my potions just in case. Okay, he can kill me if he alphas the Q. I thought I had flash for some reason. I already used it on Kane. Oh, their balling's not rotating. But I don't have enough mana. I have enough mana for EQR. Nothing in between. No shield. I can go kill Lucian and maybe die, but I'll kill him. Nice. Okay, that's a uh, four out of five, three out of five ultimate hunter. I need to kill Yi still. Yeah, we'll pick up the tier just because I'm gonna have mana issues. Swords for days. Probably gonna go armor boots. They're pretty heavy AD. Cooldown boots are nice too, but I don't really need that much haste. Rather stay alive, because I'm gonna be diving turrets and stuff. Today is a good day to die. Wait, what? How am I getting tear stacks without hitting anything? It counts as a tear stack for hitting the flag. I actually didn't know that. Wow. No quarter for the wicked. Actually, pretty cool. He <laughs> used it backwards. If I had alt, he's dead. I just want harvest. I counter him so hard. All it takes is one death. Once Jarvan gets that early kill, nobody beats him. And then I can just pretend like I'm gonna dive, but he called the bluff. Because if he's smart, he knows that I can't actually dive him here without dying because he could just ult me. But now at that low health, if I hit CC on him, if I hit the EQ, he's dead. Because even if he ulted there, I just ignite him when he pops out of it. Where's Master Yi? I need you. I may as well go try and kill Alistar before he gets too tanky also. The... Protect the faithful. I'm not gonna be able to kill that guy at all. I'm gonna die if I gank him. Master Yi's all the way bought. I could just wait for Kane to come back to lane and kill him. I'm gonna wait for him to use his Q and his W. W and then Q. He's gonna run away with E. How far can he go? What the hell? Well, he ran to Yi, but the thing is now he's gonna lose a lot of minions here. He's gonna lose XP. I think Yi's here. I don't like this. Oh, he's maxing W. That did a lot of damage. Oh, Diana pulled him out of my queue. Oh, well. At least he dies. They did dragon. I want this plating. I just need to hit it once. An enemy has been slain. Hey, Ash killed Nico. Ash is almost gonna get more. Duskblade. Okay, already got the Duskblade. Extra 20% damage based on missing health. Defy my will. Well, I didn't hit the minions, but I got him, so he doesn't get first strike. Poke him. Today is a good day to die. Uh, I didn't need to go for more autos there. 
I just need to hit him with the Q. No quarter for the wicked. I can kill Yi if I hit my knockup on him, but that's very hard to do. An ally has been slain. I don't want to stay. Maybe I'll go bot. They're pretty healthy. I wonder if there's fruit. This is gonna be hard. They're healthy. Lucian's pretty fed too. If he just dashes and dodges, that one's the Nico. An enemy has been slain. I can't. He's four and oh. Four and one. And Kane's coming down too. Some more swords. I'll get my axe, Mark. I'll just keep killing Kane. Have I killed him five times? There's no way. I killed other people, didn't I? Oh, Diana got one of the kills on him. He's only going to W me. If he Q's in, then he can't Q away. He'll survive. I may as well try and go down here and get something then. Kill Kane and get 100 gold. They know I'm coming though. I held my ult. Oh, I got an assist. I got an assist. Back to mid we go. I'm a big Jarvan. Thought I was gonna have to ignite pollution. Find me greater foes. Who does 400 damage? <laughs> what if he goes blue cane too? I think he is gonna go blue cane because he's cane mid. He should really go red cane and do a Jarvan. Let's throw the flag behind. I mean, I gave him first strike, and probably his red form off that. Well, close to his red form. If I could tag him with another Q, I can kill him here. I think he's low enough. Watch this. He's gonna die to ignite. There we go. Ravis Hydro souls. Yeah, Ravis Hydro could work. It gives a lot of AD. No quarter for the wicked. I want to actually mark just so my alt has like no cooldown. I mean, it already has no cooldown, but. I mean, I have armor pen, and my passive does max health for Alistar, but he's still, he's not going to die. He's pretty hard to kill. Like, I'm really squishy with this build, so by the time I'd kill Alistar, he would kill me. My W didn't go off. Where is E? The E's dead. I'm surprised the E never came mid. I really wanted to kill him. Just keep stabbing him with Q. I'll take a turret shot to deal 400 damage to him. Alistar's at dragon. I'm just gonna get his turret because he's gonna face. Alistar's gonna counter me really hard if he doesn't split top two because he's just gonna W and hit me out of every combo I do. 
What we can do is maybe wait for Master Yi up here to go to his red. Kane went red for him. He's bot side. Alistar's here. This should be a free kill on Yi. I don't have Ignite, but I don't think I need it. Where the hell is he? Oh, there you are. Come on, Alpha. I need him to Alpha first. And boom goes he. He alphaed me and then the red went for me. Find me greater foot. Oh, we missed. I'm going to be glass cannon with this build. I can one shot people, but I'm going to get deleted. How is Alistar beating? I mean, she doesn't have items here. She has items, but it's kind of scary. Um, Let me go get Axiom Arc. An enemy has been slain. I get the armor boots. <laughs> He's worth a cannon minion. I don't actually need this. I have a tear. I'm not gonna take her blue. Refunded eleven today seconds. Is a good day to die. I still need to kill Alistar, but that's gonna be hard. Because if I go up while Kale is pushed up, he's going to hit me under turret. Also, he's really tanky. He's a hard steal. No quarter for the wicked. There's a Yi over here. He can't push me into turret right here. I'm going to alt. Nice, he doesn't have flash. Oh, he does have flash. Maybe get him. Oh, holy fuck! I think I'm dead to Kane. Well, all that haste. All that haste allowed me to just keep jumping. See how hard it is to kill Alistar, though? That's why I didn't want to fight him. I mean, I have ult. Hale has ult. I need her to just hit him. Don't run. Hit him, hit him, hit him. We got him, we got him. We're fine. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh! I used the flag that was on the ground! Oh my god. They're gonna have FF, but it's whatever, man. I had to. Oh my god, they got destroyed. And Man Immune's gonna upgrade here? Oh, I don't even have enough. I can't sell anything for it. And go grab Brad. Oh my god, I got so lucky he dashed into, uh... He dashed into the flag, so I was able to use it to knock him up. Otherwise, he would have just got a thousand gold. Come on. Hit the red. Alistar's farming pretty well, too, for Alistar. Okay, so this is giving me... 35 plus 52, oh my god, is that 87? 87 AD, and it gives on hit damage, so this is actually like a really good item too. I kind of want to try the Prowlers next for my extra damage on my auto attack. 
Let me participate. Yes, I get refund. Okay, this game's over. I'm not making it to Brawler's Claw. Oh well, this will be the game two of that other game. So if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out the website, swag.gg. I'm putting a bunch of keyboards up on there. They're pretty cool. Got mouse pads too. Go get a mouse pad too. Oh yeah, not bad. Let's see the damage. 20k damage in 20 minutes. Not bad. Alright, peace.